Hey, real quick, by the way, why are there a bunch of dead bodies? What happened? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were just, there. Okay, just, okay. A, just a quick, quick question. Okay, so, <laughs> so last session, Henry declared war and. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. D- during during the council session, uh, he was like. What? They finally got to the part where they were like, yeah, we find all the Stone Garden people guilty of whatever. Uh, we're going to start the arrest soon. And Henry's like, ha ha ha, you're not going to arrest anybody because I'm declaring war. And they're like, why shouldn't we just kill you like right here? And he's like, because if you do, my family will be the ones coming here instead. And they'll leave nothing but a disc of black glass. So you want me to be the one invading you because uh, he doesn't want to fuck up infrastructure and fuck up the people and everything. But mm-hmm. they rigged the, like, city's hurricane alarm system and, okay. like, broadcasted the last, like, ten minutes of the thing, like, kind of just damning the entire council for being assholes like we already knew they were. Uh, uh, yeah, they're, they're politicians. Yeah, and so, like, a riot broke out, and then Thunderscrim's anti-magic team has been, like, fucking up shit in the city. And so you guys went to... It was It's a key time for a, a, a prison break. And you find out that through disabling some of the city's magical systems, the prison break's already kind of started. But you have to get keys to gates to descend through the prison, and you don't know where they are, who has them. This first section you're in is a nuclear reactor, though it's it's called something else, fantasy terms, I don't know what else to call it, just the pitch blend fever machine. So Jean, the druid, was here, and she helped you, like, move the uranium, basically which shuts mm-hmm. off more systems in the prison because it's like kind of a... It powers like a lot of pumps and hydraulics in Golgari's massive system thing. And uh-huh. then she like scried to figure out where Gilbert and Ash were. And she said, oh God, they're going to kill him. And she teleported away and left you guys here. Which is the second mm. time a Merculean child has left you guys for dead. Sorry. But... <laughs> really, really, just not helping their reputation. No, no. Um, All right. So, baby, just for the record, um, I can't navigate anything on the map. So, um, I'll move your shit for you. It's cool. Okay. Well, I can't even. I can't even see it. Oh. So, like I can only see half the map right now. It is weird that it's happened twice. Yeah. If I had a nickel for each time, I'd have ten cents. But it's happened twice yeah sorry uh and in this first section you fought living spells which are like from the eberron book they're constructs but uh Mm -hmm. and then here's gate a which leads down from stairs that you can see and there's gate b and there's dead bodies of guards and prisoners and there are people fighting all around you but they're too small stuff for you to really give a shit about so yeah they decided to go down this tunnel last time but you could change your minds and go down any that don't have a gate Okay. So, just to put it out there, anytime there's any bodies around me, I will be searching them for keys. Okay. I'll give you a hint. You won't find any. But... <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it, the it, sudden it, divine inspiration. Yeah, you just... You search a couple in this room uh, as you're slowly taking radiation poisoning from not leaving this room. No one has keys, except for, like, guards have their houses. Is the radiation cool. thing the real big... Thing in the so, center. Yeah. yeah, the blue yeah. thing. That's so. Uh, I'm gonna try something. Uh huh. I'm gonna reach into my bag, get out my friendship medal, and try and fit that into one of the keyholes. Because sometimes the true answer is friendship. <laughs> Does it work? Uh, you yeah. hear it clink, clink. No. Damn. Didn't that blue thing get shot down the tunnel? Yes, but there's still like you know the walls and shit have absorbed it or whatever. I don't really know how radiation works. I just watched the Chernobyl documentary and I was super, it was super cool. So that's why there's a nuclear reactor in here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Curry? Uh, I'm very curious. She's basically oh, okay. like a super famous I chemist. Her. She like got cancer for studying she, radiation. She pretty much, yeah, learned what radiation was. It's like, oh, spicy air. Yeah. Had nice. a, <laughs> yeah, she, she got a real good first, uh, first hand impression. The doorknob to her lab is still in like, so radioactive you can't touch it oh my god yeah her hands like melted off it was not pretty yeah have you seen like old school pictures of people like there were x-ray operators and their hands just fucking melted (laughs) oh yeah 
There used to We really we discovered radiation and thought, what's the worst thing that could happen if you played with this? <laughs> like they I saw a thing where they had it was like a shoes where you could just put your feet under and it'd like show an x ray of what your what the shoe looked like on your foot and it's like just no protection. Just raw dogging that radiation. I mean, to be fair, humans learn a whole lot through trial and error. It's it's we like as, it's thing. like asbestos. Do you know any man left in a room with an unknown substance is gonna taste it, right? Yeah, yeah. But you know that's how they uh, archaeologists know if it's a bone or a rock. They lick it, and then bones are sticky. Yeah, I know that because I did an archaeological dig once. Nice. As you, ca- ca- just them. as you casually do. It's, have y'all seen that headline that uh, Russian archaeologists have discovered an unknown species of dinosaur and it tastes like almonds? Uh, that, oh, that's yeah. arsenic. You that know what else tastes arsenic. like almonds is cyanide. Oh, so. cyanide, that's it. <laughs> Maybe uh, it just ate a lot of almonds. You guys don't know. <laughs> I don't even think almonds existed in the, like the Paleolithic era. Or, or apple seeds. They came off a tree. Apple seeds have cyanide. God. That's true. Trace amounts. Uh, if bananas, you, I think if, if you eat like 40 bananas in one sitting, it'll kill you because of the potassium. And yeah. radiation. They do hold Oh, it. that's that. No, that's what it is. It's the radiation, not the potassium. Yeah. What? The potassium yeah, thing bana- it takes 400. Bananas are radioactive? Everything is radioactive. You can actually so, eat okay. wine off of radioactivity. Ra- ra- oh, what? <laughs> All radiation is is just like I think it's it's something to do with the the neutrons getting like all fucky. Part, yeah, it's like particles, right? Yeah, it's particles, and basically, uh, they like to be there. I think I no, I don't understand radiation. We'll have to, have to explain to, it. We'll have to Google it or like. I just know that it's 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 infectious. If we ever get famous just enough, I'm sure somebody will explain it to us on Twitter. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in like four years from now. Okay. Anyway, do, wh- which way do you <laughs> live, live tweet? Hey, someone can explain radiation for my D and D session. Don't ask. <laughs> yeah, don't ask why. <laughs> okay. What tunnel do you guys want to go down? Scott. I I imagine I imagine Bastion probably oh. just comes back. Everyone's like, okay. So we this was like this when we got here, right? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. You come down here. Pale is touching a door. You know that. Okay, I'm too many too many references. The Resident Evil key that has like six fucking like knobs on. Oh, it the one where it's oh like there's this old statue in the police station, and if you shove like eight different sigils into it, it's actually a secret underground lab. That shit. Yes. Leon. <laughs> Leon, I need to get. I need you to continue the bloodline, Leon. Leon, I need you to, pay attention to, need you to fuck my sister, Leon. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could be there for whoever started that. <laughs> Just look over their shoulder and say, "You good?" <laughs> yeah, but you came down the Green Arrow Tunnel from where King Henry left you. He's he's going off some secret tunnel back in Thunderstrap. Uh, he said he'll pay you a lot if you make it back there, and if not, he'll pay your next of kin. I don't have any next of kin. <laughs> he'll find, he'll find gone for you. Uh, <laughs> Good luck! Or, or Spike, well, you know, just, who's the only other one who's forged. Spike's a terrorist! North, east, southeast, or south? Let's go east because the sun rises in the east and I made a fire, oh. so I'm following the sun. Uh, yeah, no, so I, I, I imagine Bastion probably just pops back into existence uh, and he's, he's, he's gonna look around at everyone and just look at, uh, look at Shell and just. Did we do this? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. We got here and it was already like this. The metal pieces, yeah, that was us. But, but yeah. Yeah. The, bo- uh, the bodies, no. Oh, by the way, I'm now kind of working for your creator's uh, buddy. It's one of his best friends. Oh. Okay. It was a spell. It was a bad spell. Yeah, oh, yeah. Out, out of out of character, what happened? I won't work you're working with now. Oh, you're working for Merkul now. Congrats. Yeah. It's Merkul yeah. came to them and was like, hey, bud, I owe you. So, like, what about a week of free magic where you make a decision? It doesn't have to be me, but, like, it'd be cool if it was me, though. Uh, yeah, it's a lot like the Bing Bong video. Yeah, it you should, you should work for Gon, bro. We can, do, we can do a forge cleric. We can buddies. We can make shit together. <laughs> Buddy cop movie. Yes. Yeah. Good cop, good cop. <laughs> and neither of you can uh, interrogate anyone ever. 
<laughs> yeah. Please, please tell us. We're asking you nicely. That's all we can Pretty do. Pretty please. We, we we'll will use, give you more stuff. We'll use friendship as... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have the power to bend metal, and I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, like Sober Bender from Futurama. <laughs> So what do they call him Bender? Yeah, the room you go to to the east, we'll call it room number three. There's actually no map for this because there's no fight in here. It's like a free trial holding Spoilers. tank drunk tank. Okay, <laughs> I didn't make a map for it, so that's why it's it's like where they it's like jail, like not prison but jail, right? Dead bodies, guards all over the place because this was like the last place that wasn't locked off. Because they locked all the guards in here too when the systems went down and the gates closed. So there's just like dead people. There's a guy who's like a troll, basically. Or no, it's an Oni. And he's like standing over a pile of dead guards and eating one of their arms. And the other like prisoners are like trying to get away from him, but there's nowhere to go except for the radiation room. So they're like fucked and trapped and they don't know where to go. Do you guys do anything here or do you keep running? Because there's another tunnel to your south. Thing, or another, it keeps going to yourself and there's one to the north. Oh, what do you guys think? I feel like we should help. Let's keep going. Oh, is there anyone to help here? I think uh, there are, are, yeah, there are prisoners who are trying to escape and avoid the Oni who's eating people, and there's like dead guards who are fighting. Or no, there's dead guards everywhere, dead prisoners everywhere. And then there's guards and prisoners who don't know how to get out of here because the gates are locked and the only way out is through the radiation room and they will make it. Uh, yeah, I'll just uh, go run up to the uh, Oni and just say, like, I, I, would I know if they're intelligent? Yes, they, uh, they're they like trolls where they can cast spells. So does that mean that they like understand basic like yeah. talkings? Yeah, they speak giant and common and... I'm just gonna run up, up and just say, hey, yo, 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 yo. There's literally a war on outside, like a multiple country war. This doesn't matter right now. You got to get out of here. They got to get out of here. Let's go. He takes another full bite out of like a disembodied bicep, but he says, what else would I want? To, to live? I've never eaten Genasi before. That... You know, my girlfriend said the same thing. I'm just gonna slap him with a command and say sleep. Okay. I'm gonna say because he's kind of fucked up right now because everyone else was fighting him before they, like, just let him go back to eating. I say he probably does. And everyone else is like, oh, fuck. How did we get out of here? How'd you get in? Through the death room. Fuck. <laughs> You'll be fine. We took care of most of the death, not just deadly air. You see some people look back and forth between each other, and like probably half of them are gonna make a break for the uh, the tunnel out of here, and the other half are gonna like wait. I'd say the guards are gonna try and stay here, but the rest of the prisoners are like, "Fuck this, let's go." <laughs> Aren't the doors locked? There are some doors that are locked. Uh, they were under the impression that the living spells were still going, and then that the that the because the, Jean or. Gene shoved most of the uranium back up the tunnel. You don't know what kind of repercussions that could have, but like she just shoved it up the like water supply tunnel. So, but uh, just you know, like twenty she, more generations of radiation poisoning to yeah. the city. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. As one does. <laughs> she just did control it's water fun. and yeeted that shit back up the pipe. Uh. Yeah. So. Uh, they run, the guards stay here, they're very scared of you, and the Oni probably just goes back, or he's asleep, so, yeah. Uh, you have a, uh, a way to go south, which goes right and left, or you can continue going straight north, uh, straight south. Let's go south. Okay, you come to this place, uh, where you can see, this is like a storage room, and this is like a break area, and down here is, yeah, this, the five is a break room, and four is like personal items lock up. And there's dead bodies and fighting and all that still. Uh, you can also hear the telltale metallic clanking of something very large, who occasionally 
slaps a prisoner to the ground and they die instantly because they have four hit points. But you can't see it where you are. Uh, to be a commoner. <laughs> Let's go to four. Or a wizard. <laughs> You're a level one wizard, yeah. Oh. Let's go to four. Yeah, let's go before. Let's, uh, the, the vaguely lost-shaped, uh, common area. What are these, like, gray cubes? The gray cubes lockers. are lockers or cabinets or whatever. Uh, okay. In these rooms, you find probably, like, a hundred gold of, like, people just had pocket change when they were arrested. There's any kind of clothes you could ever want. There's probably nothing, like, super valuable in here. I wrote down that I had something in here, but I don't know where I put that note, so it's probably not that important. A ring of warmth that's a little too large for a finger, but no one wants to call it out. Oh boy. <laughs> Do you get the uh, the ring of the grammarian? What is that? It lets you change a single <laughs> letter of a spell to change the effect. <laughs> like what? Well... Cage hand instead of mage yeah. hand. Let's you lock up someone's hand. Oh. Things like that. It's the silliness is on. I have a I have a I have a post about it somewhere. I'll see if I can find the meme. Okay. Rub it in that you can read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you want, everyone put like, I don't know, thirty gold in your inventory if you choose to stay and leave this room. Um the Yeah, big... sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How many electrons there's that be? probably also With the... like oh, there's also like a this cabinet probably let's say there's an inventory of everything that's in here if you guys wanted to just get all up in people's personal data i guess uh, but that would also take a lot of time and just shoving filing cabinets into your bags and holding or whatever um I mean, oh, do we have time to look for like specific names, or we just got to throw everything in there and grab, like, go through it later? I mean, if you want to, but you have to remember there's a clock of what's yeah. going on the floors below you. We can go back I, here later. I, I can skim down the list real quick. Do you want to? Hey, not, not spend a whole lot of time on it, just kind of skim through it real quick. Okay, uh, make an investigation check. Okay, and I will actually roll this one because I'm doing it quickly. <laughs> um, <laughs> and this is a roll of d20 for me, please, plus five. Gift of gay. Yo, yeah. <laughs> what? Well, gift of gab is a spell, and you change the V to a Y, and it's gift of gay. <laughs> what does it make you do? <laughs> I guess it makes wow. you gay for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> There's also arcane lock to arcane cock. Nice. There's so many. <laughs> bitch bolt to bitch bolt. <laughs> Shatter to shitter. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Caroline, you don't find anything of note. It's all just like random people they've arrested over the years. Uh, or people that's arrested right now. You don't find anyone you know, though, in your quick scan. What did I roll anyway? Uh, you, I rolled a four, and then Pale rolled a one. I don't know what he was rolling for, so... I just misclicked. Oh, okay. And you rolled a one? <laughs> yup. Nice. Uh, Get it out of the way. I was trying to figure out the, the app, because the app is different than actually just going to the web page. Oh. Uh, I figured it out now. I'm going to roll on my D&D and Beyond app now. Okay, roll, roll by yourself. Just because I feel bad rolling for you, and it'd be a four. I got a fourteen. Okay, cool. Let's say you find Ash and Gilbert's charts or whatever. If you read them, you know that their stuff is not locked up in here. It is locked up uh, in the second floor lab. Second floor lab. And what floor do I think we're on? Well, uh, I mean, it's not second floor. It's uh, negative two. You know, like an elevator, like basement one, uh -huh. basement two. Uh, you could infer that you're on basement one. Uh, I think I found where their where their stuff is. We're asking uh, Leo's dad's stuff is. Huh. Yeah, that little odd elf man. Yeah, where's that? I would, uh, 
I'd note also the Ash had one of the communion blades, and that is not here. That is in the vault. You don't know where the vault is, but it just says vault. <sighs> You've and that you. King Henry hadn't committed war so early. I was on my way to go find the communion blades, but no. Well, they're in a vault. Hmm. One of them is, yeah. Wait, level nine fish? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> you just become fucking Aquaman. Yes. I just, I imagine it's it's just like a, like a torrential downpour of fish. It's whales, sharks, tuna. <laughs> no, just all, all, just all tuna. <laughs> just I like, just passed a street called Ash Ave. Ash Ave? I, uh, so I, random. I have a joke with a coworker at the, or an ex coworker at the game store. You know that meme, like, hey, nice cock. Uh, yeah. I passed a street delivering that was good wood. And so I sent him a picture and I was like, made me think of you, heart. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Glad to know that there's no HR at the card shop. No, absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> no. It's, I regularly make sex jokes with the, it, so, Halloween decorations, we have these tiny skulls, right? And so the owner, one of the owners, uh, he picks one up and goes, hey, you want a little head? <laughs> In front of customers and everything, no fucks. <laughs> like, oh, I'm pretty sure everybody that's in that store has a very good sense of humor. You hope so. <laughs> But it's, I mean, they're selling half-naked anime figurines. What can they expect? True. Sinners, sinners, the lot. <laughs> it's they used to own a sex toy store before they opened a game store. <laughs> Same audience. Uh, honestly. Yeah. Like, oh, are you okay. implying that nerds are having sex? <laughs> no, that's what they need people. the toys for. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, are you going into down or back up and down? To the go down. Okay. Well, we see a giant being, so let's go deal with that. Okay. Wee beastie. As soon as it sees you, beastie. All right, you may see over this thing's shoulder. There are two priests back here hiding, and this thing's mostly it's guarding them. <laughs> and it's Bastion. Make me a Arcana check with advantage. Boy. What kind of priests? Hello. I'm immediately, Bastards. I'm immediately looking for a weak spot. That is 15. Uh, 15. You know this is a shield guardian. Being a construct, you know about other constructs. And that you know that it's bound to an amulet. Uh, yes. And so it's being controlled or what have you. You're just like a <laughs> fucking nerd with the amulet. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, being that it's guarding two priests, you might, you know, infer some stuff, but, uh... Can I, can I make a best guess on which one of them has it, so I know which to snap the neck of? Uh, if you want? Uh, everyone go ahead and move into this room, or, like, find your, your corner to, like, get an angle of this bad boy. I don't know which one I am. My corner of the sky. You are this one. I can't see where the. So my, he's just gonna be. He's just gonna be just chilling on my shoulder for now. Am I able to move my character? Yeah. I can't move. Can you? Oh, sorry. I fucked up. Ooh, I got awkward. these. I got these from the assets page, and they're not assigned to you. I have to redo that later. Well, I can't move mine anyway. Oh, okay. Just square up, you little shield wimp. Yee. Square. Nice oh. robot, you big fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, a big old bionicle? <laughs> God, what's the... What's the... Hang on, I gotta... I gotta find the name. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Makuta? Is that what it was, Makuta? Is that like the big... What the red thing? Uh. Yeah, but the the shield guardian who looks like he's I know you're here, Dracula, you big fucking nerd. <laughs> Wait, what is that? That's Moon Knight. Moon Knight. It's Moon Knight, yeah. Okay. He, uh, God, I'm trying to find the cool. <laughs> I know you're here, Dracula, you big fucking nerd. Where's my goddamn money? <laughs> that is an official quote from the comic. <laughs> because 
<laughs> Moon Knight hates vampires, but every now and then he's stuck dealing with them, and they usually do end up owing him money or drugs. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, let me find the, the collage of the Moon, Moon Knight quotes. <laughs> the Shield Guardian will not make a move towards you unless you get, like, kind of in melee range. Uh, mm. Everybody roll oh. me initiative, I suppose. 17. Mm, my initiative. That's where you left it last. <laughs> <Ooh>. oh. <laughs> get him out of here. <laughs> get off the stage. <laughs> I think Death Barn would be a great spell to see. Have you seen, there's a picture of like the thriller, like a screenshot of Michael uh, Jackson dancing. It's like when the necromancer takes a level in Barn. (laughs) Go on. (laughs) It was a plus eight. Yeah, that's a little. Share the dying Jesus. (laughs) Taking uh, taking lethal damage makes someone else take the damage too. (laughs) Oh my god. Share the dying. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry. I got a 21. You're up first, Carolina. You know, I'm a fighter. I'm going to do fighter shit. Okay. I'm going to run in and summon my echo mm-hmm. and attack. I, if I can get to him. I don't know how far I am. Yeah. yeah uh, no, uh, with the great axe, I roll a 12 to hit. It's a miss. Uh, I was actually a 13. I forgot I was rolling with him. I missed both attacks. Okay. I said, I don't know, try to intimidate him. And intimidate. Oh, intimidate. Uh, let me see. That's not going to work on a robot. Uh, this is not a smart robot, like how Bastion is. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bummer, dude. Okay, uh, Bastion, you're up. So, yeah, can I make that check to see which... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, which guy? Make a perception check? I think my sentinel shield... Uh, gives me advantage on this. Yeah, perception. Uh, definitely gonna take the 14. Okay. I'd say it's hard to tell because they're hiding behind, they've made a little barricade out of office chair, office, Mm -hmm. uh, things, and the shield guardian's, like, standing in the way. Can't really tell, but you could try again later. Okay. Is it cool if Rune just travels on me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can can Rune use the mounting rules? But it... Which allows him to use his mount movement and then his own. Uh, yeah, it's like when you're on a skateboard and you grab a car. Yeah, basic. yeah. Okay, sure. What kind of Marty McFly? <laughs> <laughs> what, you've never done that? No, just my razor scooter. <laughs> this thing's destroyed ankles. Yeah, I'm just going to fi- firebolt him. Cool. A over 20 to hit. Edits. Damage. Nice. Yeah, for sure. And then Rune is going to... Uh, how, how tall is the ceiling compared to this guardian? Uh, he's, he's about to scrape the top. It's probably mm. only like a 12, 14. I mean, he's a large creature, so... Yeah. Alright, Rune's gonna just, like, hide and... and me, I guess. Okay. <laughs> he'll 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 go in one of your like backpack pockets or something. Yeah, he is uh going to fire a force bolt though at this priest right here. Okay. Uh natural twenty. Uh yeah that is. Oh my god, yeah, eleven force damage. Nice. Nice. That is that's a lot of green. Mm-hmm. Uh make me another arcana check. Uh fifteen again? Yeah, you can tell that uh, shield guardians, when you're attacking the person with their amulet, they like mm-hmm. do a thing that gives their person more AC. You can see that the thing it did that when you hit that one. Okay. So, it did the thing that does the thing. Yeah, so you know that this cool guy is the one with the amulet. That guy right there? Yeah. Okay. Can I, as like a free action on my turn, uh, point at him and go, I believe it's in our best interest to target that one. Yeah, if you want. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to say that to the party. Okay. How far are they from me? You are. You're gonna have to get around the shield guardian, but if you just like flew, it'd be twenty-five. Twenty-five feet, and they're elevated. No, they're hiding behind a bunch of like, cabinets and desks and everything. Okay. Next up's Pam. Well, because I am a uh, good God-fearing tier. Oh wait, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, just, just, just to work. just to dig your heel into the depression. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, out of the goodness of my heart, guiding bolt uh, this guy. Okay. You roll from bed. Please don't get a two. Okay, that's a fourteen. That is a hit. Cool. Let me roll some dice. That's a thirteen to the face. Uh, they die. Although I don't believe the shield guardian does. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Uh, no, but the Shield Guardian, I believe, is now inactive, because it needs an active user. Shield Guardian, uh, Guardian of the Shield. The Shield Guardian is magically bound to an amulet. As long as the Shield Guardian and its amulet are on the same plane of existence, the amulet's where can telepathically call the Guardian to it, and the Guardian knows the distance and direction of the amulet. If the Guardian's within 60 feet of the amulet's where half of any damage the wearer takes is transferred to the Guardian. Oh, so he's still alive and I can't read I get that feeling. <laughs> I get it. But do they? I so I I don't think per raw they do, but also like it kind of makes sense. Yeah, I mean I'm thinking. I mean you're. Them, though. Yeah, I I mean I, I like I'm thinking about it of two ways of like it would make sense that it's like oh I'm designed to create this thing because this person's like they they're telling me to and then they're dead. So why would I do anything? But then also, its last known command was protect. Yeah. And it doesn't. I don't think it understands the concept of death. Yeah. Probably not. Gonna have to gonna have it's, to break the news to my brother here. <laughs> well, in any case, they're not dead yet. Hell, you gonna do anything else? <laughs> uh, just gonna, just gonna give a thumbs up to the other two. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, the enemies their turn. Uh, upon being hit twice, she blew with the amulet. It's gonna hide in the because he's scared. And because I didn't think about that. And then the priest is going to, the only one he can see is Carolina, so he's going to I think just cast Guiding Bolt. Come at me, bro. But that's 18 damage. What was it to hit? Uh, to hit it was a 16 plus, uh, 16 plus 5. Okay, yeah. 18 damage. Yep. Shield Guardian, uh, seeing that you directly cast something on their their cool their cool person they're supposed to protect, fail. They're gonna go for you. <laughs> All they have is fists, though. So it's... Alright, guess, Carolina, your Echo, get an attack opportunity. Uh, did he move? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, take a swipe. <clears throat> swiping, I'm swiping. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, Payne's That's never crud. been dealt a, fin- a fisting he couldn't handle. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was a natural twenty roll. <laughs> there was fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Jit, uh, Carolina. <laughs> I rolled a natural one. A natural one, bummer. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be. Yeah, the, uh, the, the D&D and Beyond dice app hates me right now. <clears throat> you take 14 <clears throat> damage, pale. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna hurt me, he said, knowing there were still more rounds of game. <laughs> <laughs> then, your new characters, Ovake? Eh, that's if Pal dies. Don't worry about that. I thought the day was going to be much worse. It's for later. Uh, and keep in mind, you're only in room five. Uh, <laughs> there are 35 more. Uh, Carolina, you're up. Okay. Uh, so, I was told to attack the priest. So, if I'm not in melee range, I'm going to send my echo over where the priest is mm-hmm. so I'll sit, send my echo there and then um, I'm gonna have my echo make two attacks okay oh finally 27 a 27 hits 8 damage and then another 23 for another 8 damage okay now they're dead does anyone Is have like 
What'd you say, Carolina? So is he like, was he like clutching the amulet or anything? It was around his neck. Just around his neck? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I don't know anything about it. Okay. You have that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> how close is the other priest, please? They are five feet from here, I Okay. I will use my uh, Unleash an Incarnation to attack one more time. Or can your Echo move after they teleport? They didn't teleport. Oh, okay. I think they they could move there, but they couldn't move again. Now they'd have to move five more feet. Okay, then... No, I will not use my Unleash Incarnation. Yeah. And no, I will not use my Unleash Incarnation. But I will teleport there. Okay. Uh, next up is Bastion. Alrighty. I'm gonna move here. Uh, and then uh, rock him, sock him. Cool. 27 and a 12. It'd be 27. I would hope so. <laughs> Uh, seven thunder damage, and he's got disadvantage to anyone who's not me. Okay. Rune is still on me. It's gonna take the uh, disengage action and crawl over. Oh no, it's that. That's the guy with the necklace. One, two, three, four, five. He's gonna just uh, just stay there. Okay. Did I just say, uh, Bastion, are you gonna do anything else? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, hell yeah. Is Shield Guardian still up and rock and sock Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, cool, yeah. I'm just gonna, uh, you know, just a little reduce flame, just a little. Okay. Right to the face. So that's a Delta 20. Oh, that's a 10. Does a 10 hit? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With that, I'm just gonna stay there because otherwise he gets an attack of opportunity, which yeah. would be very bad for me. Little purple sparks scatter across him and he turns down to look at you through the empty, <laughs> empty helmet. Hi. Okay. Uh, next up is the enemies. I'm gonna say that it's going to go for Bastion. Uh, the highest. That's only a. Uh, fucking 18? No. Nope. He misses nope. both times. Uh, but he's going to move closer to block this thing so pale you get an attack opportunity. Uh, so that'd just be like a regular, just like unarmed attack, I guess it's like, like yeah. a full spell or something. Yeah. Uh, there's a feat you can take to kind of spells as reactions, but you have to take a feat. Um, I only have two. I don't want another. I'm not um. Tarantino. <laughs> uh, I don't have a weapon though, so I'm just gonna punch him. Cool. Straight up. <laughs> Come at me, bro. That's an eight. Wow. Uh, wow. I, think I feel badly. I think your your fist is gonna hurt more than the robot is. <laughs> <laughs> you scratch your knuckles or whatever. Uh, well, they're mithril, so they don't scratch. But like you, your fingers hurt. You know when you punch you punch a wall. I say, as someone who's never punched but, the wall, but I know people who have. I should have drank a monster first, but yeah, Kyle could help. Yeah, yeah, the Kyle. <laughs> I should make that like an NPC, like a bar brawler or something. Uh, <laughs> okay. Then this priest is going to cast a Sanctuary on himself, and then, and then he's going to cast Cure wounds on his friend, who was dead. Uh, so they're going to come back to life. And now it's Caroline's turn. Oh. Do I notice the other one came back to life? Yeah, he kind of gasps and probably grabs the necklace. Like, oh fuck, I died. Even though I have this giant construct to protect me. Not knowing what other spell was cast, I am going to attack the one they cast sanctuary on himself. Uh, yeah, that's going to be, uh, you have to make a wisdom saving throw. Yep, uh, wisdom save. I rolled a 25 on the attack, but... Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there's my initiative. Okay. Yeah. That's how you do it. You gotta drag down the, uh, the minion. Uh, wisdom save. Oh, six. No, that's a, that's, no, no, no. That's, that's not gonna do it. You have to either attack someone else or lose the attack. But you can attack someone. Uh, attack was 26. Yeah, you could attack the other. Oh, my turn? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up and join this, uh, robot in Rock'em Sock'em. Uh, 18 and, uh, 11. 18 hits. You got two hits. So at least one will hit. Excuse me, 10 damage. Cool. And then Rune, Rune, like this priest, probably doesn't have, uh, very, uh, he's also got disadvantage to him, he's not me, just, he's, he's gonna take the attack of opportunity if this priest would like to make one. Yeah, they have a mace. The weird flying stone imp. Uh, no, that's not gonna hit. Uh, and then Rune is just basically gonna try to mug this guy for his amulet. Wonderful. Uh, make me a, I guess, a, a slide of hand check? Or, like, is this, like, a forceful, like, eating the shit off? He's, he's basically just trying to, like, rip it off. Okay, uh, make either a athletics or acrobatics check, I guess? I'm gonna prefer athletics, because he's got a negative three to athletics. Nice. He's not, he he's blows. not very, yeah, he's not very strong either. Sort of sad. Uh, natural one. Oh, no, this, with clinging to his life, he's also going to cling to this amulet and kind of shoo away this weird fucking thing he's never seen before. Uh, it's just, it's chattering at his face. It's, this guy, like, got out of a seminary, like, last year. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> Yeah, next up's pale. I imagine the is just chittering like uh, the girl from Logan in the, under in the truck. So back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I'm just gonna get out my eagle wall and try and stab this guy in the wherever it looks like it'll hurt. That is a 17. It's finally <laughs> victory. <laughs> Eight points of damage. Wonderful. A critical blow! <laughs> Huzzah! Excelsior! Excelsior! <laughs> and then I'm just gonna look up there and say, please stop. Uh, you'll also notice that, uh, Shield Guardians have this, have this cool thing called regeneration. So, Pale, as you, you slam Time your, Lord. you slam your Ikawa into, you know, the gears or whatever, you see that they kind of liquefy and then repair themselves kind of instantly. And the shield guardian is going to try and punch you. Oh no! He ain't gotta do that. Fun. He's got disadvantage on this. Oh okay. Fuck. Yeah, you you take that. You take that too, and that six. <laughs> Okay. Praise God. I'm gonna say he hit the first one though. Oof. But fair enough. Okay. That's gonna be twelve damage. Uh, harder shield guardian. Uh, <laughs> yeah. God uh, really isn't cool with that. That's awkward. <laughs> Neither was Tear. I wonder why. I wonder. Mm-hmm. This one cleric or priest who's right here. Uh, he's going to cast Cure Wounds on his friend again because he knows it's vital that that fucker stays alive. Uh, Can you cut that out? No. No. The priest. I'm talking to the priest. Oh. Uh. No, that's what I mean. He was saying. If he could. That rat bastard. Oh, wait a second. Cure Wounds is touch. Fuck. Ooh. He's going to, I guess, he'll still be in Carolina's melee, so she won't get attack opportunity. He's going to kind of like skirt around and reach through, I guess. That's what she said. He's going to attack Rune with a guiding bolt at uh, third level, we'll say. Wow, that is truly just a dick move. 
Well, he misses spectacularly. Yeah, he is. <laughs> okay. Uh, he should have cast Sanctuary on himself. Whoops. Oh, well. Wait, no. That's a bonus action. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, no, but you already cast a spell. Oh, fuck. That's right. Shit. Damn it. Oh, well. Uh... Next up is Carolina. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna attack the one he keeps securing. Cause something was weird about when I attacked him the last time. So, uh, I rolled a 20 and a 22 on my attack. You're gonna hit the one that has Sanctuary on him still? I feel like the Shield Guardian's gonna take a while to get worn out. Yeah. It's like using a stick to fight an Iron Golem in Minecraft. It doesn't work. Play Minecraft? What a fucking nerd. Hey. <laughs> yeah, True, I am. but that still probably hurts. <laughs> if I could still feel hey, that would that, hurt. Hey, that's my physical appearance. <laughs> <laughs> that's my emotional support nerddom. Okay, the one with the amulet, uh, Carolina attacks twice. He's fucking dead again. Uh... For some reason, this brings me back to the third session. Yeah, I'm like fucking. <laughs> oh, Bastion, you're up. <laughs> and so I'm gonna do it again. 11 and 10. Nah. But Rune well, could sorry, easily, Pale. Rune could super duper easily snatch that end of the night. Yeah, Rune's definitely better. Better, better snatch that shit from this guy's. Uh, what if Rune hands. was gone? Can a construct control a construct? Uh, I mean, Rune's sentient, so yeah. I don't think there's requirements for it. Just the Sentience. owner. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Uh, six. Six. So what? To steal. The oh, rune. no, it, it's a dead body. You can just yank it. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's gonna pick up, snatch that, and just fly up to the ceiling. Cool. <laughs> like, keep away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pale, you're up. He's probably he's gonna let out a, he's gonna let out a goblin laugh. Nice, nice. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> yes, I, yeah. Yeah. Add more like grinding to it though. Nice. If nice. I if I could if I could vocally replicate that I would, but I don't have rocks in my. I have done voice system. acting. I can't even do that. Turn out like a gravelly high bit. It's a very confusing sound. It horrifies me. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, produce flame right to this guy's uh, little chesty poo. Can you hear this? Yeah. Yes. ASMR. It's a it's a, a miniature like for D and D minis rubbing on the microphone. Uh, mm -hmm. A file. In the asthma. I was trying to make mechanical grinding noises, sorry. A uh, 12 is a miss. Ooh, again, just sparkly fingers, <laughs> nothing. Nah. Uh, just like, you don't have to do this, we could be friends. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't, I think the shield guardian, upon feeling its owner die again, uh, probably gonna do one of these these turny around things and just just what's their what's their strength oh it's an 18 great yeah um he's going to punch his way through i'm stronger than the shield guardian excuse me he's just gonna just punch through the barricades and um just mosey on in here oh that's the wrong mini him he's just gonna clank 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 uh, and now he's in here. Uh, both Bastion and Pale will get an exact opportunity. And I have Sentinels, so if this hits, he can't move. 23 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits, so he's stuck there. I I mean, if I'm stronger than him, I imagine I probably just, like, grab onto his leg. <laughs> just trip him. Yeah. I'm uh, stabbed. If I, if I can trip him, I'd like to. Hmm, with the 23, oh, roll me athletics with advantage. Excellent. You're trying to cantrip him? 
No, I'm just seeing if I can trip him. Completely monotonous. Yeah. He, uh, he, oh, that's a fourteen. He trips. Uh, <laughs> Hale, do you want to do damage? Yeah, I. Th- that's a, that's a sixteen. <laughs> A 16. Uh, that, that's barely a miss. You, you, you go for where he was as Bastion grabs his ankle. Man, I was a bad at space and rumors. And, uh. Wait, is, is Hale attacking him as he's falling or is he no, attacking him on the ground? As, so it was attacking as opportunity. He was falling. Yeah. Um, that's monster. And this one priest who's still alive is gonna say, uh. Wait, please, stop. This is bigger than this. Who are you people? The shit guardian is pretty big. He is bigger than most of us. Yeah, that makes a good point. No, no, the prison break. There's murderers, criminals. The... <laughs> this isn't like just, uh, you know, you, you start a street fight. These are real. These are dangerous people that cannot be let out. Uh-huh. I think I'm here to help because... I'm gonna do a little slav squat in front of him. <laughs> Snap my finger, hair goes black, thaumaturging it. Well, I'm one of those Merculians that your mom and dad used to warn you about. That's a Vivianite with a ghost twin assassin, and that is, I think, like the creator of the universe. So, that should just go shrug. <laughs> we're just looking for some of our friends. Do you want to help us out? Uh, who, who are you? Who are your friends? This, 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 we're in the we're in, we're in the evidence locker. You see, there's more filing cabinets in here and like shelves. By the way, if there's any drug that you want, it's in here and it's labeled. Ooh. Any. I'm just gonna put my hand on his cheek and just kind of rub my thumb up and down, just saying we're looking for just some low level offenders. It's like jaywalking, you know? Okay. Their names are uh, Gilbert, uh, last name, and Kane. Ash Barlow. He, okay. He, at the, at the Ash Barlow. It's mentioned you being a Merculean first off, and then that's why he froze and let you touch his cheek. He's like, I just, let me say hi. My friend will give you the key. They're on. They're on the bottom level. Last, I heard anyone move them. I'm gonna slowly reach into my bag, keep my hand on him, pull out a single good berry. Here you go, bud. I'm just Thank gonna, you. I'm just gonna walk over and probably like use my my med kit, just patch the guy up. Okay, this very scared guy it gives you a key. Labeled uh, gives you a key labeled. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's labeled it's the, it's the B key. Okay. Uh, Isn't it a band? Oh, that's the BGs. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but do you guys want to loot anything from the evidence locker? There's like any low-level weapon that has like you know blood on it. There's uh, filing cabinets full of fingerprints or whatever. I'm gonna get some devil grass for Leo. Perfect. I'd like to. I'd like to memorize every single one of these fingerprints. Can you do that? That's I terrifying. Have oh I have God. keen mind. Oh okay. okay. You know the fingerprints of every Golgory criminal. Excellent. Uh-huh. I have nothing to do with this information. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a little bit of every drug, just a little bit, like a. Like a few grams. I'll, I'll send you all their stats later if you're. Alive. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Drogas. Here, I'll actually go. I'll, I'll find it right now. Just see. have I shown you the stats for Star Sugar? Nope. Oh boy. Oh lord, I can't wait to finally go and like. It's it's basic. Do nothing. It's it's basic. It's basic meth. Uh, Ooh. or PCP maybe. Maybe a baby of both. Because you just go butt fuck insane and you could kill yourself <laughs> on the first time you take it. Huh. Just like cigarettes, kids. <laughs> Dude, this is this is long, but I'll 
I'll copy and paste it. Um, I want to search both the priests. See if they got any cool magic items. <laughs> One of them's alive. You're just gonna like frisk them. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're more than welcome to. They have. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have Arun fly that amulet over to me. Okay, and the shield guardian is just kind of standing there, like he's just gonna, you know, step to the side. Like, what do I do now? <laughs> uh, I can telepathically communicate to him, right? Uh. He understands commands, but can't speak. We'll change that. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, I have a new best friend now. Sorry, Pale. <laughs> I'm just worried that we're starting, like, the robot rebellion the ro- via this. Hey, how do I, you know? I may or may not have been there at the creation of the universe. I don't know. But we're, I'm, I'm, digging, I'm digging through them. <laughs> Again, somehow they may not have been there scarier than they were. Yeah, there's there's uh, Star Sugar, Lust Leaf, Devil Grass, Raven's Bane, uh, and then I've I've been needing I've been meaning to make opioids, but I haven't done it yet. So I just give yourself a bunch of morphine. I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I would I would like to search these two for. Any magic items or spell books or anything. Okay. Uh, they both have... Uh, I'm gonna say they have a set of prayer beads. Uh, it's That's a magic item. Uh, let me go... Oh, fuck. I just I forgot to... I, I need to put five fucking... Uh, uh, I'm as, not fucking everything. No. As long as he's on the same plane of existence... I'm gonna... I'm just gonna, I'm gonna look at the shit right now, now that I have one. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it takes you like a day to attune to it because I did not anticipate uh, it will not be level anymore if you have a shield guardian as a friend. Uh, although maybe he's only he's CR seven. He's on level. Maybe he maybe he makes. Just up make another party. party. Just make he another party member. He makes up for. <laughs> yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm not shield. planning on having to work our way. I have I have a plan. I'm just trying to see what all of his okay. abilities are. Uh, oh God, you're gonna fresh cut grass and take him apart. Uh, no. <laughs> How <laughs> dare you accuse me of cannibalism? <laughs> I didn't say eat. Uh, well, well. Carolina rolled me uh, a d20. <laughs> it's just a glare. <laughs> I just look back at your crunching and show burns in my hand. Okay. Can it roll? Yeah, you have exactly one bead of wind walk. Ooh. Can you put that in the chat for me? Hmm? Can you put that in the chat for me so I can remember to write it down when I stop? Oh, yeah. As long as the Guardian and its amulet were on the same plane, maybe it's working telepathically. Oh, sick. Yeah, I guess, can you talk to it right now? Yeah. Uh, cause, yeah, it, it doesn't say that the amulet requires, uh, attunement. Oh, okay, yeah. And I can store spells in it? Oh, yes. God. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna look at you, Bastion, and go, basically, telepathically say to you, what do? Squad water. I want him out of here for now. How far are we from the, uh, the guy's lab who fixed me oh you're in the same town okay i trust him right he's cool yeah yeah the shield guardian's big enough to get there he'll make it yeah he can heal himself and everything <clears throat> okay i'm gonna hand him a rock uh i'm gonna well first off i'm just gonna i'm gonna pick up like a piece of rubble or something uh and i'm just gonna with my finger right um like Please look after, uh, please look after me, uh, for Bastion or something like that, uh, and put it in his hand. Okay. And then I'm gonna tell him to go find, I'm gonna tell him to go to the exact location, like give him as precise of details as I can possibly give. Okay, yeah, I'll get slab. Yeah. Yeah, basically I want him to go there. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> they give a little vest that says nervous. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine, like, Garfield, uh, in his spangly little shorts on that. Just like, oh, look at you. You're giant. You're adorable. I just can't wait to climb up at you and fix you all up from the inside. <laughs> I, I like, picture him like the priest from Letter Kenny. Having the state. Having the same thing, I'm gonna pick up three more rocks and write, also, don't touch him. <laughs> Keep him pure. Uh, he's, a, he's a good boy. <laughs> yeah. On, on like, another rock, I'm gonna write, also, yeah, also, don't touch here. him, and I'm gonna put it there. Yeah, but it's it's cooler when I can just carve it into a rock with my finger. Oh, okay. Yeah, do not add to <laughs> No. None of... None of my robots have dicks. They're not... No. Not happening. The robot doesn't fuck... <laughs> Stop trying to fuck my robots! A phrase that shall live in infamy. <laughs> yeah, he's going to turn around and... Plunk. Along with the monkeys. It's... You probably watch him even, like, step on a dead body and, like, squishes and he keeps walking. Mm, gushers. Oh. Uh, do you guys want to continue going south? Or you can go back up the way you came and go um, uh, west. Uh, I mean, we got the B key. Should we just go back up to B? We gotta get the chameleon blade. Right. To be or not to be? We have no idea where the blade is. Yeah, aren't we here for a prison breakout? Yeah, we yeah, get them and the blades. We can get their stuff and bring it to them. Yeah. yeah let's get their stuff. Or should we get them first, just in case? Because if everyone's going crazy, they might be dead before we get there. Yeah, that sounds like a better plan. Okay. Considering I've made jokes... At the DM's expense, I think we should get to them first. When have I ever <laughs> used my powers for vengeance? So how's Tyr uh, doing? I'm a kind. <laughs> <laughs> you did that to yourself. <laughs> yeah. That was but... me, that was me being mad at you. That was me role playing a god. Uh... <laughs> Just because in one of the earlier sessions I repeatedly murdered someone um, doesn't mean that the god should be angry at me. It's justice. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So south or back up and east? Yeah, yeah, what is this? They're in. They're in the, that's the BC, right? So we should go there. So you guys want to go back up to the reactor and go to the gay B? Mm hmm. Yeah, so. Am I affected by radiation? Uh, you're immune to being poisoned, so I guess not. Awesome. Uh, you probably can sense that it's there, or maybe... Well, I imagine that me being radiated is not dangerous for me, but for everyone else. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Somebody pokes you later and their finger falls off. The party's just gonna wake up one day and like just skin's melting. Do you taste metal? Uh. Huh. Hey, I don't remember my uh. I don't remember bleeding this much from my eyes. <laughs> hey, do you guys remember when your skin like stayed on? It's weird. Hey, have you? Has anyone seen my fingernails? You know, oh. I haven't seen mine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you guys are. You guys have fingernails? <laughs> oh god, the robot's trying to become human again. It's by man all over again. Why are there shadows on the wall? I'm just, uh... <laughs> oh god. Oh god. I'm just, uh, I'm just a flayed one. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> no flayed ones. No. For, for context, a flayed one in 40k, there's these things called Necrons, and they're basically just like robots. Uh, but flayed ones are robots that have lost their mind because they were originally people, and then they got turned into robots. And flayed ones are pe robots that uh, really want to be human again, so they skin people and wear it. Nice. 
I've seen uh, I've seen the first episode of uh, Lore Hammer, so I know what Necrons are. Yes. Yeah. I love that podcast. <laughs> I know what Necrons oh. are, and that's it. <laughs> the warp is like an ocean. <laughs> God, the fact that they hate that set you know, was the funniest part of the whole show. So, we're not going south at all. Actually, I guess we're going back up to B. Okay. So you go back up to B. All my homies hate the uh, <laughs> You go back up to B, you go to the cool thing, this gate uh, opens. It's like a, a cool one of those. <laughs> and then you go to... Uh, <laughs> Oh, also, yeah. So, Matt, the song that I was talking about earlier, the Noise Marine song, mm-hmm. the title is called uh, This Quiet Offends Slanesh. Oh, I'm going to look that up right now. Yeah, it's by EMMP. It is uh, uh, fantastic. It just... It's, it's about as grunge metal as you can get. There's an hour-long album of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Wait, what is it called? Because I, I like... I like Doom music. Is that the same thing? Uh, uh, Doom is Doom is more just like I'd say thrash. It's not. Yeah, thrash. Yeah, thrash. I'd say it's thrash. Grunge metal is more just like it's a lot of really heavy noises mm. that just kind of hit each other. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. <laughs> they just hit each other. <laughs> Violence. I think if if someone were to create music. Of what a mosh pit sounded like. Ah, that's just ska. No, ska's. <laughs> I saw the best description of ska. Ska's what plays in a thirteen-year-old's head when he gets extra, uh, like hot pockets. <laughs> Which sucks because I hate ska. But they, they, they took like, they took like, uh, like punk rock. They're like, punk, yeah, punk rock, and they're like, what if we put fucking brass in here? <laughs> And it sounds good, and I hate it. <laughs> Have you heard about uh, somebody who's like- Fucking big reel, man. <laughs> Have y'all heard, um, like, you know, think about, like, Fallout music, how it's all still 50s ballads or whatever. What, 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 uh, Brian David Gilbert, who used to work for Polygon, he's amazing. But he made a whole video explaining that actually Fallout 4's like modern music would have turned into ska. Uh, oh, like if they made Lord music God. currently, they would have made ska. <laughs> New so, Vegas would have just been country music. So, hey, Todd Howard, make it happen. <laughs> Please, Todd. No. no. I like finding old songs that I can enjoy. Because when I talk, like I play them, and I was like, oh, I remember this song. I was like, Grammy, you do? It was during the war. Uh, uh, to be fair, yeah, she, she <laughs> lived through war, uh, what is it? She's, I think, 80. I played yeah, Big Iron sure. a few weeks ago. My dad recognized it. I'm like, how did you know Marty Robbins? Big Iron. It's like, I don't. I just know this song. You know what's yeah. awesome? You said your grandma's 80? I think so, yeah. That's crazy, because my mom just turned 75. Hey. <laughs> My mom just turned uh, 50 last... No, shit, it's January. A couple months ago. <laughs> Time isn't real. My stepdad is like 63. <laughs> and my ste- and my mom is 53. So, what's terrible is... They're, they're, they both are in a country music band. And so I, oh, knew, who, I knew who Marty no. Robbins was before Fallout. So I'm a cool hipster like that. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, is this fucking Marty Robbins? And <laughs> <laughs> the God, really I, do have a I, I can't imagine like recognizing a song in Fallout. Like hearing this me like, wait, am I listening to the normal radio? Yeah. Oh, the boots really do jingle jingle. Wait, this is the game. I got spurs. <laughs> it's I had uh oh god, what's that song? Uh I don't want to set. I don't want to set the world on fire. Oh, yeah, I, have, yeah. I have that on a fucking cassette tape and a CD. No way. Now, fashion a cassette tape <laughs> is what came after. Yes, I was I have used a to vinyl. Uh, that's what I was born into back in the uh, early nineties. 
<laughs> oh, okay. I thought I thought you were trying to talk in character. Oh no, I was just being stupid. Okay. You didn't forget well, my name, there. did you? No, we didn't. Okay. <sighs> Great guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God I had to try to check my phone. <laughs> nice job, Matt. I just see the names on the just see the names on here. I'm like, uh, right, that. Okay. I'm just happy you're old enough to know what a cassette tape is. I I grew up getting CDs burnt, so we still. I actually I had a we had a VCR player. I still have a bunch of VCRs. God. Do they have labels on them? Uh, the VCRs. The tapes. Yeah. Uh, I think so. That's half the fun of the VCR. Uh, tapes. They're not labeled, so you don't know what you're gonna find on there. Oh lord. Birthday, born, who fucking knows? Maybe yeah. knows. Born recorded over the birthday. Yeah. You know, it's the other way around. Honestly, it cuts in and out. It's like uh, back when you're trying to get HBO at 1 a.m. and you just see like wavy lines. Is that a body part or just more fuzz? I have no idea. Wow. <laughs> trying to get free porn uh, <laughs> on the unpaid for a channel. The classic good old days. Before the war. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, um, we probably don't have enough time unless you guys. I don't know how late you can keep playing, but um, uh, there's another robot in here. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> yes! Excellent! Uh, it's the Bavarian Jihad all over again. Uh, hey, hey, Bastion, make me a. I don't know, a. a, a Arcana, Arcana check with advantage. <laughs> It's a natural 20. Uh, this one's a helm tour. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. Oh my god, this is exciting. <laughs> uh, it's it's medium, so it's not as big as the shield guardian. Uh, How however... Do you even spell that? Let me copy paste it. Oh, helmed horror. I thought you said helmed tour. Like, oh. like, a, like someone took like the word minotaur and then just put helm? I mean, there's... There's... Mm -hmm. Like those golems that are uh, fucking cows or whatever. Yo, this guy looks sick as fuck. He looks like he's a robot, but made out of fire. Oh, it looks like the first uh, villain in the Del Toro series. Niche reference, don't. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. And it's while this guy isn't as strong as the shield guardian, he's much harder to kill. Uh, oh my! Oh my God! Does he have an amulet? Uh, no, no, he's just, he want to be friends? He's just there, uh, and he does not want to be friends. He wants to kill you because the Pelorians made him and told him to. Uh, we can change that. We can change I, I can fix him. <laughs> I can make him worse. <laughs> I can make him hate all life. Oh, no. Oh, not again. Oh, oh lads, not again. Okay. <laughs> do y'all want to keep playing, or do you have to go? I've got to bounce off. Okay. Well, we'll pick up and, next time with Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Cool. Alrighty. Gotta let her know that we've got a uh, more fodder for the the robot army. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. See you later. All right. See you guys. Hey, it's your DM Bailey Ford. I would like to thank our regular players Charlotte, Matt, Darian, and Ian. Hip for our cover art and tabletop audio for our background music. You can find us on Twitter at C. Illithids, and thank you especially for listening. <laughs>